Very fucking things, everyone. Uh, I've got another video coming out here in about 10 minutes, and it's a book review, so I don't know you're going to watch that, even though it's a pretty good video. So I thought I'd make one about World of Warcraft <clears throat> because uh, I've been talking to Mr. Rogers, and I know I've quit World of Warcraft a bunch of times in the past. <laughs> I always like everybody asks me about if I want to play it again. I'm like, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it because I don't never want to talk about it, and <laughs> it just annoys me. That I'm known for World of Warcraft, even though it's like I didn't even play that long. It was like a year and a half, maybe. It felt like eight years, but it was like a year and a half. Anywho, uh, the main thing that bothers me about the game is that it takes so long. I was thinking, like, if they made a way to like decrease the global cooldowns on everything, so you could just like attack, attack, attack. Uh, like if you're a rogue, you know, combo, combo, and execute. Like you do all your things. You know, you know what you're gonna do. You're sitting there just doing this for like two minutes where you're waiting on your cooldown to all go and then whack like once you're done whacking then you should be able to whack again <laughs> it just should be like whack 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 this is going to be turned into a clip uh anyway if you could just speed the game up i think it would be fun not like a lot of these private servers just increase the amount of xp you get because then like you don't spend as much time in the zones that you would need leveling up just like the, the combat should be faster is what I'm saying anyway uh, we were talking on the stream the other night too about either playing Turtle WoW or Ascension WoW or Hardcore Classic which I don't like the way the Hardcore Classic is kind of designed because I feel like you got resurrection spells and things ways to come back to life you should be able to use those things but they don't allow you to do that so uh, Turtle Wow is interesting because it has like a, like a custom dungeon thing, a lot of like weird stuff. But then even weirder is Ascension Wow. Let me show you this. Uh, so I think it's on, I don't know if it's like in Burning Crusade or what patch it's on. But you level up with this thing called... Uh, I forgot what it's called, but you, every time you level up, there are two levels up to level 10, and then maybe it's like every five levels. You get like your normal skills, I think, but then you can also get like a lottery. You get three cards, which is like any skill from any class. So you can like customize your character, and you can get these like essences. You can like enchant skills or items or something. Is there a way to read this? Uh, Mr. Rogers was telling me about it, but it sounded kind of crazy. But, yeah, Mystic Enchants. Oh, here we go. T-Shirts, you Festering Strike. Righteous Flames. So there's, like, stuff you can do. I don't know. This probably had to be, like, high level to do this kind of stuff. But, look at this. High Risk PvP. Slay heroes in world PvP and loot a piece of their gear. Find dungeon and raid loot in the open world. So you opt in to the server. I don't know if it's the server. Like, once you're in the server, you're opting in to just have your gear be stolen. Or you have to opt in once you enter a certain area. But you can also get it fail conned or commissioned or converted or something. Where, like, instead of dropping your loot you drop go the gold amount that it's worth instead but I guess you have to like find something or use some kind of resource to get it that way and like you can't do everything until you got like I think your weapons and your your main hand and your not your main armor yeah I think just your weapons and your bow and your main hand and your offhand when you're a noob automatically a spell con for a while and then they got these like heroic and mythic plus raids and dungeons and things where there's all kinds of extra ways to get loot. But this seems kind of cool. Maybe I'll do this. I started downloading it last night and I couldn't get the launcher to pop up to see where the percentage was at. And then I just now tried to make this video and it didn't record because my hard drive had filled up. So I don't know if the Ascension WoW maybe downloaded to a folder and didn't tell me because my hard drive was full. But I deleted the Diablo 4 beta, and <laughs> now I have enough room to make a video. 
Uh, also, there's this rumor going around that paladins are coming into the Diablo 4. So I don't know if that was photoshopped or what, but there's a lot of Blizzard shit going on right now. Um, I think they're going to make their own hardcore classic servers too, which could be interesting. I don't know if they're going to do it the same way or going to do it a different way. But, see the plan was to play this like next Sunday because that would be my next day off. Because they hired a guy at work and he immediately quit. So then I have to work 12 days in a row. So Sunday's my next day off. And they hired another guy and then I just got off work now. My boss came in and said, well, we lost this guy too. So he's not working. He's already quit. So I don't know if I'll be working 19 days in a row now. Uh, he said he wasn't going to make me, but if I'm feeling good, I really like the money. <laughs> it's a lot of money. So I might try to do that. So it might be another week after next Sunday. Um, but I also wanted to show you this. This is a thing called Azeroth at War Closed Alpha. It's not... You can't play it right now unless you're in the Closed Alpha. And I think in July 1st, they're doing like a a thing I, I joined a discord server and you got like 600 people i think they're going to let play it from july 1st to for like a month and then they're going to have progressively more they're going to have like a thousand or something people playing i don't know how many servers we're going to have but uh yeah let's look at this video it has it has the, the naga it's got ogres you can play Murlocs, you can play Ice Trolls, you can play the the Dranai that are the cursed or the shitty ones, whatever those are called. Worgens, Goblins, both kind of High Elves. Furbogs, dude. Ah, I wish they had Quillbores. If they had Quillbores, it would be even better. I'm going to play a Quillbore. I think I would actually do maybe like a Murloc Shaman. Oh, they got also a new um, Necromancer class. So you can raise the undead. You can be a Murloc Necromancer or an Ogre Necromancer. Uh, the Broken is what they're called. They even made it kind of look like the Murlocs are wearing armor. This seems pretty cool. Oh, they got different racial talents. Jewel crafting. I don't even remember what that was. Is that like a new thing? Wait, what? Ah. Muscly trolls. That the ones you find when you get in the dwarf starting area? Look at the customizations. Get that yellow spikes with the green. Get that green goblin. Oh man. Get that black ogre. Oh, that yellow looks so nice. Make a paladin. A murloc paladin. Or a hunter. That would be weird. A goblin hunter with a gun would be pretty sick. What's this one below ogre? Oh, it's the fur bog, I think. And we have the necromancer class, which I'm going to be playing today on an ogre. So we're going to have custom class and custom. No, wait, that's fur bog in the alliance, right? The fact that the armor works. Fuck, I can't. I wish I could click on these. And, uh, okay, what do we got? Can call forth skeletons of different combat abilities. Can inflict curses. Different combat abilities. Use mana as a resource. Necromancers are powerful spellcasters thought upon by many to be of great evil. So just skeletons? Summoning of the dead to fight under controllers will is a heinously unnatural disrespect towards the undead. I'll take that description, okay? So we do have different faces, which include different tattoos, and we have different skin. There's Worgen, and then there's Furbogs. What is this up here in the top? Now it looks like to me the female ogre is actually the two-headed ogre, by the way. So that's what we're getting right now. Um, I, I so when you click female, the Dranai's looked like the broken. 
What the fuck is this? That looks like a furry. How did they get these out? These. Wait, wait, wait. Go back here. That's broken. Organs there. Naga. Oh yeah, the Naga. I forgot about the Naga. Man, that's sick. That's the ice troll. So what's this bottom troll? What's after Merlot? Wait, 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 he didn't go to the bottom. Oh, oh. Huh. Hang on, I'm gonna find this. Just tusks on your feet, so you can do like skin color and you can do the hairstyle. Just gonna hover his mouse over. The race is the race for the race. Oh my good, mining's my have the customization options for this. And person by many different have the customization. I can't figure it out. Anyway, if you know what that is, uh, anyway, I didn't even watch this guy play this. Look at that. Lifebolt. Also, it's kind of like a warlock. You just got a guy that follows you around. You can't, like... I'm playing Path of Exile right now, and you just, like, hold the button down, and it summons some of your spirits over and over again. So you only get one scaly? Wait, why is there no death knights? That's interesting. Yo, that's actually very interesting. Okay, let me show you what thing, guys. So I send this guy. This guy's kind of annoying. I hate how streamers just have to constantly be talking 24-7. It just makes you hate him. It's a mix of custom plus follow of Zalazane quests from pre Oh, so they got custom dungeons too. Taking back the Echo Isles. And they have like custom one of them had like a guild base or a house base that you could make? With tents, you had like a survival talent or profession. I don't know if it's the other one. Make this turn a while. Oh shit! What if you could play one of those dudes? So they've changed stuff. That guy looks a lot cooler. So there you go. Thank you for your aid. Sick, dude. Let's go turn this in. Okay, we are reporting to Master Gadrin to turn in this. See, that's what I've been saying. Like, instead of making like a new a game, I think I said this about Diablo. Just make Diablo two again with a different acts, different quests. Maybe throw in some extra classes and races and whatever. That's all you gotta do. You don't need to take ten years to make Diablo three. You just throw out another game of Diablo two. That's all we want. We don't need like a lot of changes. If we, if we like this game, we're playing it twenty years later. Obviously, you could have just made another version of Diablo two with different stuff, and we would've been fine. Like this, just some dumb guys that knew how to code threw together some shit. And everybody's good. So, yeah. What do you guys think though? Because I don't want to play this by myself or just like two or three people. I would like to have a 20-man guild to do some raiding and stuff if I'm going to get into this. But I'm only off on like Sundays and Mondays. Uh, so is anybody else off on Sundays and Mondays? <laughs> I mean, I'm off Tuesdays until like 11, but I'd be asleep from like noon on. If I'm playing early mornings on like Central or Eastern time, whatever. <laughs> Does anybody have a schedule that's kind of like that? I guess most people that like watch my videos when I was doing WoW stories are probably grown ass men with families and <laughs> can't play WoW all day. But I just throwing it out there. Not that I want to get super into this, but it seems interesting. Mainly I just feel like I want to visit some of these old areas again, get the vibes, hear that music. The music I think is the big thing that kind of makes you nostalgic.